I'm thinking so. ABC call volume trend analysis. And let me present you about the ABC call volume trend analysis. So let's come towards the project description. In the project description, I have received the data of the customer um, or the agent calling uh, information in which that it has mentioned the uh, duration of the call or the agent ID and uh, whether the call has received or transferred or the uh, abandoned. So these are the data I have received and uh, with the help of this data, we need to analyze the call volume trends. So my approach was very uh, easy and easy to understand and very clean. First of all, I have collected the data and prepared the data. In the data collection and the data cleansing activity, I have found the duplicate values as well as the blank cell. I removed the duplicate values and removed the blank cells. Then I have analyzed the data with the help of the few functions as well as the PR table. And uh, I have generated the insight with the help of some graphical presentation. For this, I have used the Microsoft uh, Excel because uh, it's very uh, easy and robust analytical capabilities it has and so it's very suitable to analyze the all the information let's come towards the insights which i have received the first task uh, i have got is to provide the average call duration for the given data set so i simply use the pivot table and with the help of pivot table i have generated uh, or calculated the average call uh, in the context of the seconds per seconds. So here is the pure table screenshot or the snap I have attached. And uh, we can see that the, uh, with the help of the graph, we can see the call duration is very high during the 10 to 11, 11 to 12, or at the evening uh, stage also. If we can uh, go towards the afternoon uh, region, like 12 to four probably yes 12 to 4 we can see the call duration is very low average call duration is very low so we can say that people like to speak in the either evening stage that's the after uh, 4 or the 5 or at the early morning like 10 to 11 or the 10 to 12 stage people don't want to talk during the 12 to 4 duration probably that they, they might be uh, sleeping or they might be in the office or they might be in the busy so second task was are uh, to reflect or the show the call received in each time bucket so i have um, plotted the bar charts two bar charts one was is uh, showing the trend as well as the another uh, graph was for the received call we can see here that the answered call represented in the uh, blue stack and the uh, amber uh, represented in the sorry uh, orange represented in the for the abandoned call that means the call that not received or the got abandoned because of the xyz reason so here also we can see the same trend like 10 10 to 4 call volumes are high and later on it becomes slow here i have draw the trend line also with the help of the uh, call volume and we can see as the time get passed like here we can see that at eight or nine o'clock uh, the call volume get decreased with respect to the time get uh, decreased i mean to say that uh, at the morning call volume were very high and uh, at the evening call volumes or evening or the at the night the call volume are low we can see the high call volume at 10 a.m to 1 p.m this is the range where we can see the high call volume coming towards the next uh, task that was the manpower planning here uh, i have uh, found the minimum number of agents as mentioned in the task i have to, i needed to calculate the minimum number of agents required in a, each time bucket to reduce the abandoned abandoned rate to 10 percent so i have calculated the call handling capacity with the uh, help of the manual functions and the minimum agents required is the 1189 we can say or the 1190 if you, we do the round figure and headcount required is a 1586 and manpower in each time bucket we required is 132 agents been required for or 132 calls we need to receive uh, for each time bucket Coming towards the next task, that was our task to uh, 
um, address the customer calls during the night hours. So I have um, calculated as well as projected the uh, call uh, numbers that I we need to address during the night shift. Let me come towards the, my Excel sheet. For task three, I have uh, drawn the peer table. And here we can see that abandoned call is this much answer call this and the transfer call this and i have calculated the percentage so we can see the nearly about the 30 percent uh, of the calls gets abandoned and that's a very huge number we could say to address the customer as we can see that abandonment rate is around 30 percent and we need to propose the manpower plan to can which help to reduce this to 10 percent so this was our criteria to reduce the uh, abandoned call and I have also just uh, simply calculated the total call incoming from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Total call number handled is this much. And uh, by uh, subtracting this from this, we can get the cap from this number. So we can see that 34,403 calls gets abandoned. That means that either not received or any XYZ reason. So working hours is a nine, as I mentioned in the data set also. And average call handling time, it's 196 occupancy on average is 60 percent so with the help of this data and with this formula i have calculated the call handling capacity is this much minimum call required agent required to take per month is the 1186 and head count is 1586 and the manpower for each time bucket is this much for task four as mentioned the call duration for the 30 calls 30 incoming calls from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I have again calculated with the help of same formula which I mentioned uh, here. The total call incoming calls were the 30 as per this data, and the working hours is 9 and the occupancy level same data as per task 3. I have just uh, copy pasted here for my reference. Call handling capacity and then the incoming call from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. is this much, and the call incoming calls from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. is this much so we need to calculate the uh, time bucket or the we need to project the time uh, time bucket for the 9 am to 9 pm by considering uh, these call volumes over here so i simply calculated uh, calculated the projected time like for 9 9 to 10 we are getting the 3 we are having the three uh, agents or the three call received so like this three into i have calculated with this much call handling capacity divided by 30 because the 30 was our total incoming calls so with respect to this data i have projected this number over here and again at the last uh, this was the bonus task or the bonus insight i have received that i uh, thought this was very important to appreciate our uh, existing employees or the agents these are the top 10 agents who are dedicatedly uh, receiving the calls or doing their work very honestly and we can see the number these are the top 10 agents who are receiving the more calls and they they are doing the dedicated work so we need to appreciate those top performers also so that they can keep doing their work so uh, these are the top performers mm. Yes, these are the top performers I have mentioned over here so that uh, our company can appreciate those employees also. At the result throughout this project, I have achieved the comprehensive insight about the ABC call volume trade analysis. I have explored the PR table, different different chart as well as the few calculations. So this could help uh, this company to analyze and appreciate employees or the plan their um, skeleton staffing and uh, to reduce the abandoned call ratio for uh, any queries please reach out to me on this uh, mail id mentioned over here and you, you can access my excel which i have mentioned uh, here and i am also uh, mentioning this video link or the presentation link over here thank you so much have a great day